So you really thought I was going to throw them away? Ha ha ha. my fan. Thunk. Two very boring minutes later. There we go. folks gonna take off my mask all right oh that's cool uh oh oh it's right here looks like it's just oh I don't want to break the top cover There we go. There we go. That looks cool. It looks like an oversized I3. connectors I'll have to get them looks like you just use these two there for your normal wiring all right let's see folks all right I'll wire it up here let's see negatives here okay we'll go in there we go Positive. Hook it up. The battery connector would cooperate with me. Mm. Find another battery connector then. There we go. That's what's going to work. This little one went off. Let's see if I can figure out what's going on with that other connector. Uh oh. It slid out. Yeah, as you probably saw, this is a Canadian detector. So you're not going to find them here. Other than these, of course. And I wish they'd make them here. I mean, we don't have them here available. All right. Now, we should have a green LED flashing. See, has your test button. So we should have a green LED there. Oh, there we go. All right. Here we go. Test. Which I like too. So now, let's wire the two together. There's a way you can wire them. You know, like inter interconnected smoke alarms. Let's see. Maybe these are in English. So I can show you this manual then. And if you want to read, just pause. Should recognize those, of course. The 90s for alert manuals. And of course, if you're in the detectors, you know that System Sensor was originally a division of BRK first alert. In fact, they're Spectral alerts use the same horn as the first alerts, and their current mini horns still do. Of course, this is a successor to the, the original 2012. You saw in my video of that a long time ago. And you probably remember this table from the 70s and 80s detectors, like the 79R based ones, 76RC. 
that's the thing. Front. All right. Let's set wire and connector. All right, here we go. See how I have them here? You have the power. Go into the power of this one and the ground and the SIG sound. To each side. I wonder what's in here. I wonder if it's just like a hollow thing. I wonder if I could just put the battery in there to prevent it from you know, yanking out the wire. Okay, then it didn't record. <laughs> but, as you can see, the battery fits in there. Well, it wouldn't obviously close all the way, but probably gonna keep it like that. It might, you know, disconnect everything, but, oh, you know, these, of course. I'll probably keep the battery like that. That way it's, you know, secured tightly and it won't yank the wires out. You know, if I'm just holding it like this. All right. Let's test it from this one then. Cool. I like. So you put silence and it beeps. It beeps at you. Yeah, they're cool. I wish, again, I wish they'd have these here in the States. They're cool. They kind of look like a big I-3. Well, there you go, folks. Uh-oh. Oh, they're beeping at me. Probably because of silence mode. Because obviously, you know, since these are designed to be powered by an actual 12 volt DC current, an alarm system, you don't have any facility for a low battery signal. You can just cancel the silence mode there. Anyway, there you go, folks. Thanks for watching. I guess you didn't see the good bracket. Good to see the bracket. Kind of got that old school look, like the 1800s, or I think even the 2012, the original 2012 had the you know, that one style bracket. And you didn't get to see the box either, really. And see, it's pretty modern because it's got the advance there, representing the AV. So there you go, folks. Thanks for watching.